Okay, so we're almost done. <laughs> we're almost done the editing process and preparing our podcast um, to be ready to be shared with the world. So just to recap, we went over equalization. We went over compression. We did editing our heads and tails and getting rid of any mistakes or anything like that. We did all that. The last thing we just did was applying the loudness normalization on our audio. And the last thing that we need to do in this editing process is to apply a limiter, a limiter to our audio. Before we do that, we're going to highlight our audio. We're going to change that view again so you can see everything. We're going to zoom, zoom to selection so you can see everything. And now we're going to apply a limiter. And so what a limiter does is that all of the peaks in your waveform, some go really high, some not so much. With a limiter, it makes everything even, very similar to a compressor. But instead of bringing up low stuff and bringing down high things, a limiter just gets rid or brings down all of the high, really peak, really high sounds. And so that's what we want to do. We don't want things to be so high that it makes it uncomfortable for your listener. And so what a limiter does is going to bring down anything that's too high. And so this is how we're going to set up our limiter. And again, it works very similar to compressor. If it goes above a certain point, the limiter just pushes it down or cuts it off completely. And so when you open up your limiter, it'll look like this. It'll say type, soft limit, input gain zero, input gain zero, limit to negative three dB, 10 and no. So only thing that we're gonna change is we're gonna change limit to negative one. But everything else, we can leave exactly the same. You can leave it at soft limit, zero, zero. I'm gonna change this to negative one. This can stay at 10 and you want no. And so what this does is anything above negative one decibels is gonna be pushed down. To show you what that looks like on a graph, this would be the scale of the levels of your audio. As you see, it's zero, negative three, negative six, so on and so forth. And so anything below this is like quiet, it's silent. And then typically our voice and our audio, we want it to be a, between negative nine, negative three. What this limiter does is sometimes when we're saying things or we're speaking, hey, say we're talking and we get excited about something, that can get pretty loud. What the limiter is going to do is it's going to stop it before it reaches, reaches zero. And that's why we want negative one. Negative one is right before something gets way too loud and it's in this red area. Our limiter will stop any sounds from going over that negative one and potentially being harmful or distracting or annoying to our audience. So once we have these settings, soft limit, zero, zero, negative one, 10, no, we're gonna go ahead and hit okay. And there you go. See, it's all the same. It limited or it stopped any of the audio or the waveform from going above negative one. And it does it on both sides of the waveform. So now it's even. And so even though you may have some fluctuations still in your voice and what you're saying, you don't have to worry about it getting too loud because everything's going to stop at negative one. And we'll just go ahead and play it. Welcome to the Dude Make Something podcast. I'm your host, Jam Calpin, where we discuss mental health and how we can use creativity to help get to a healthier mental state. And as you see, it wouldn't go above that. It doesn't go, any, doesn't go anywhere above negative one because that limiter is in place. And so now, even if those who are listening to your podcast, if they want to turn it up louder, it's still going to be in a comfortable space. It's not going to get too loud. It's not going to get too distracting or too annoying. This is just right. And so that was the last effect that we needed to apply to our audio to make it good quality podcast ready. And so if you're following these steps, if you're making sure to EQ your audio, compress your audio, edit out any 
mess ups or anything else that you want to take out of it. Make sure the heads and tails are nice and good to go. You apply that loudness normalization and you apply that limiter. You do those five steps. Your podcast is now good quality audio level to be shared with the world. And so I'll show you the next step, which is exporting your audio to then upload and share with others. You're doing a great job. I just want to say congrats that you've made it this far. So we'll go into the next step and I'll show you how to export your audio.